Hi, Sensi friends. It's Angie, your independent Sensi consultant, coming to you from my Sensi office. And I have got what I've been warming, basically what I've been using, because I haven't warmed all of these products, but I've certainly used them. Um, so I am your independent Sensi consultant. My website is tankthestank.sensi.us, and I've got a lot, a lot to show you. So first of all, very exciting. I got through some kind of larger items, including my brick of maraschino sugar cookie and a brick of pink poinsettia. Okay, so maraschino sugar cookie. This is the brick collection this year. Used up completely. Sugar cookie dough baked with vanilla and drizzled in a sweet maraschino cherry glaze. This one is so good. It's current, I think, no, it's not currently available in the brick size but you can get it as a bar if you add it to your Scentsy Club, but you have to do so quickly because I think that's gonna expire soon too. So, maraschino sugar cookie in the brick. I love this, it's in my kitchen right now. Um, Pink Poinsettia, this was last year's brick collection. I went it, well I finished it in the basement. Um, crisp plum and blackberry celebrate the season with a burst of pomegranate. Amazing, amazing, um, but I'm not gonna get any more of that. Um, we have a set of, set of pods. These are in my wife's air purifier next to her bed. And I had to give her a new filter. Let me show you the funk that is on this. Okay, so this is right next to our bed. There is her old filter. So I'm trying not to get any of that stuff all over. Oh, I got it all over myself. That's super cute. So yeah, that was in our air. So we were gonna breathe that in. Totally not good to breathe. So see you later, filthy filter. Anyway, just wanted to show you that. If you were wondering about our air purifiers, they do work. They get all of that dirt and dust and junk out of the air for you. Um, there is a little red indicator light that pops on when it is ready to be emptied, and then you change your filter. Um, and I also can help you out with your filters if you need some. Um, so I got through a counter clean in vanilla mint and a counter clean in Johnny Appleseed. I go through a lot of counter clean. These were both open at the same time and I was using them both. Um, we go through a lot of counter clean in this house. I also went through two laundry liquids, one in Palm Beach Breeze. I was really happy to finally get through this. This one is not scented enough for my clothes. I don't think it's even available anymore. And then we got through one in Magnolia Linen. Also not a favorite, but decent. Um, the washer whips in Palm Beach Breeze. Let's see. I'm dropping stuff. What a mess. Um, we also got through a washer whips in Palm Beach Breeze. This is the 48 ounce size. This costs $30. If you have a party, you can get it for half off. Um, but yes, so this is the what the tub looks like. Each washer whip, no matter what size you get, comes with a little scooper. This is just a fragrance enhancer for your clothes. It is not a detergent or soap of any kind. I dumped out a bag of Kukui and Coconut Scentsy Soap into my jar for my bath time. This Scentsy Soap is so pretty. It is so bright purple. It's like, I don't know if there's enough crumbs left in the bag for you to be able to see how pretty it is. But... I really did a good job of emptying out the crumbs, but it's amazingly beautiful. Um, two packs of dryer discs in fluffy fleece. Um, I put two in my dryer, they walked away. I put two more, they came back. So now I've got four. It's fine, I like it like that. Uh, scent pack in 100 acre wood for the baby's diaper bag for the hospital. Yep, we're at that stage of the game now. I did open an oil in blackberry basil. Um, I'm using it in the diffuser down here. We just started having a diffuser down here, so that's really, really exciting. Um, we have pods. These came from my car. Um, we have, I don't know why I sniffed everything, sugared strawberry and autumn road trip. And what I put in was maple rum cake. I have a mini fan diffuser in my car, the little ones that are like $15, and you plug them in with a USB port. They're really, really great for scenting your car. Um, I have a 25 watt bulb. I am out of 25 watt bulbs. I had another one blow today. I had to go find 
a warmer that I wasn't using and take the far of the bulb out of there. I need to order bulbs. It's a whole situation. I don't know what happened. I usually am really good about staying on top of having bulbs. And then all of a sudden, I just stink. Okay. The rest, let's see, is wax bulbs. So literally, I have almost a full bucket just with wax bars, as well as all of that other stuff. So when I say that it was overflowing, like there were two bricks and two laundry liquids and two counter cleans, like there's so much. So I'm glad I'm cleaning it out. We're getting ready for a baby being born and holidays. We just changed my wax in the basement. Like things are going great. We're just getting ready. Um, so let's go through what I've been warming. Cinnamon pine cones. What, what? I think there's two of these in there. Yep, there's the other one. So this one was samples. This one was in my family room. This is the scent of the month for um, December 2022. That is eight days away. I know that because we're having a baby December 1st, um, 2022. So I'm so repulsed by the fact that the air purifier filter touched me. Okay, the warm scent of sparkling pine cones, classic fir balsam branches, and sweet cinnamon stick. Cinnamon pine cones. It's so good. It kind of reminds me of like that old school potpourri that you used to be able to get. Okay, so currently in my basement, I'm warming two older bars um, that are no longer available that I had from previous Bring Back My Bar collections. I had a bar of Fiddly Fig and a bar of Rainforest. So let me tell you what they smell like. They're both going down here in this basement. Amber and soft musk combined with earthy fern, crisp citrus, and fresh, barely ripe berries. This is Bring Back My Bar January of 2020 Rainforest. Fiddly Fig, also in my basement at the same time. A botanical haven uh, brimming with wild fern, mission fig, and crushed rosemary and coconut water. So that's Fiddly Fig. Okay. My home... In my bedroom, spicy cinnamon and floral notes. It's so good. I really like that one. Sweet orange and evergreen. Let's see if there's more of that one. Yep. I feel like sometimes I just like repeat stuff because I do. Okay, so I think there's only two. I should really sort these before I start making a video, but whatever. Sweet orange and evergreen. Um, this one I mixed with oodles of orange. I did in my entrance in my bedroom. It's the scent of the month from November, so this current is the scent of the month. Let me see if I can find those orange. So I know I used it all up. Here it is. Um, festive, fresh cut evergreens decked, decked with sweet orange and warm cedar wood invite you to a quintessential winter night. So I mixed it with oodles of orange. Um, in my bedroom and entrance, kids will love the sweet citrusy scent punched up by fresh pineapple, Crisp papaya, mango blossom, and ripe bunches of tropical berries. Um, they smell amazing together, but I feel like the sweet orange and evergreen was kind of light, and I had a hard time really smelling it, even when I mixed the eagles of orange in. So then I did it by itself in the bedroom. Festive fresh cut evergreens decked with sweet orange and warm cedar wood invite you to a quintessential winter night. Um, again... It smells great in the clam, I can smell it, but then once it's warming, I'm like, I can't smell it anymore. So I don't know if it's my nose that's the problem or if it's the bar. Um, I did two bars of pineapple mint in my basement. This one to me smells very clean and fresh. Um, a lot of times in the basement, I want cleaner, fresher scents because it's a basement, so it can kind of feel dark. And I like I like the like energizing scents down here. So this one is Juicy Pineapple, Fresh Orange, and Refreshing Spearmint offer a crisp twist on tropical pineapple mint. Love it. All right. Cran Apple Crumble in the kitchen. Baked Cran Apple topped with brown sugar and a dollop of whipped cream. Oh my gosh. I really, really like that. I want to eat it. Um, let's see. Similarly, Buckleberry. This I warmed in my family room. A bite of summer's bounty, bursting fresh berries atop a buttery blanket of crumbly coffee cake. I love this. This was a bring back my bar from last summer. I think it was last summer, June, maybe. Um, I added to the club. Hopefully, I'll get several more before I stop. I may have already taken it out. I am wishy-washy with my club, you know. 
Um, this is a bar of almond croissant. I warmed it in my kitchen. A fresh baked croissant is made even more heavenly with cinnamon sugar and an infusion of almond. Uh, Plumeria. I'm warming this in Rowan's room. I bring back my bar of January 2020. Pink and gold Plumeria combines with jasmine for an exotic floral aroma ju deepened by juicy pear. Um, it's very floral, but I like florals. I don't have a problem with florals. Happy birthday in the kitchen. Sparkling sugar, fluffy whipped cream, and warm vanilla extract. Yum. Love me some happy birthday. Did somebody have a birthday this month? I can't even remember. I think I just warmed it. And it wasn't even a birthday. That's weird. Usually I <laughs> warm it on somebody's birthday. Bring back my bar um, of sweet plum pastry. This one stains the clams every time. I warmed this in my kitchen. Black plum and toasted coconut garnish a marshmallow cloud. Sweet plum pastry. All right, so Big Hero 6. I melted this with the Plumeria, um, or the pink poinsettia brick. It uh, smeared my writing, so I don't know. I warmed it in the basement, and I don't have the scent notes for Big Hero 6. Would you like a hug? Um, I really like this one, though. It's really fruity. It smells like... Like maybe there's some cherry and pomegranate in there, but I'm not entirely sure. Frosted vanilla. My love, my love. Oh, how I love frosted vanilla. This, to me, is one of the best scents that Sensi has ever made. Um, I love it. I warmed it in my bedroom. I love it in my bedroom. A wonderland of sweet vanilla bean and birch bark with a rush of frosty air. It's so good. It's so good. Christmas cactus. This one is a boomer. It's strong. It's long lasting. It gets it done. It's like, you know, just goes. I warmed it in my entrance. Agave nectar and citrus trim Siberian fur for a new kind of winter wonderland. I love scents like that that are just like great performers. I ordered a whole bunch of those when they were on clearance because they took that away. Um, this one is Mighty Pine. This was, I think, last year's holiday trio. I warmed it in my entrance, fresh cut pine trimmed with icy lavender and crisp mountain air. I think this is one of my favorites. I like the lavender and the mountain air with the pine. It's so good. Okay, three more. Banana nut bread. Whoop, whoop. I warmed it in my entrance, not in the kitchen. Surprised ya. Right from the oven with ripe bananas, nuts, and spices. Graham cracker crunch. In the family room, caramelized graham cracker layered with crunchy peanut butter and creamy vanilla bean. And last but certainly not least, bayberry and currant. I warm this in my family room, a wreath of peppery bayberry, fresh juniper adorned with bright currant. So that is what I have been warming. I would love to hear what you guys have been warming and using in your home. Um, are you getting ready for the big day? Tomorrow's turkey day. And then... Um, you know, that's just launches us directly into the holiday season. There are so many amazing options for the holidays on my website. Make sure you check out the clearance section. Make sure you check out all those different collections. There's so much going on, so many great things to try. Um, so I would love to see you uh, try out some new stuff. Let me know if you have any questions. There's so, so many great things. Um, I hope you're all having a fantastic Wednesday, and I will talk to you later. Bye, guys.